Now we're going to take a look at the scale and rotation properties for transform repeater 1 and transform repeater 2. This is where things get much much more interesting. So now let's have a look at this in action. When you change the value of the scale on transform repeater 1, the scale happen from right to left and if you scale it down, the shapes to the right get smaller and the ones to the left remain the same. So the effect of the scale or transformation happens from right to left. But when you make adjustment to the scale value for transform repeater 2, the transformation happens from bottom to the top. Like you can see right here, if you make it smaller, it happens from bottom to the top with little or no changes happening to the top roll. When you adjust the rotation value for transform repeater 1, you will see that the changes, the rotation happen from left to right, making the left roll stand still or nothing happening at all right there. But when you make changes to transform repeater 2 on the rotation value, you will see that the transformation also happens from bottom to the top, leaving the top roll still the way they are. The combination of the scale and rotation properties on transform repeater 1 and transform repeater 2 can help you create a complex motion graphics for the shape layer like this one. In the next chapter, we will be taking a look at the start opacity and the end opacity for transform repeater 1 and transform repeater 2.